Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me again. Um, so this is going to be a follow-up um, based on what I've discovered so far in this game, known as Valkyrie Anatomy of the Origins. Um, so, uh, aside from all the mechanics that I explained um, from the previous video, um, with, you know, the Valkyrie profile-esque uh, gameplay, um, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try to explain the um, what I found so far, as far as the, you know, the leveling slash upgrading mechanics. Okay, so it'll be in this menu right around here. Uh, this top top option is a uh, team formation. Second option is uh, let's see if I remember correctly. It's um your weapon and uh stones fusion. I say stones because those rocks that you collect in the game are looks like stones to me so that's why I call it stones but the stones are basically your defensive items um, I forgot I didn't go through this menu in this account yet but um, so you have uh, weapon fusion stone fusion um, not sure what this one is but um, and this menu I'm not too sure about either but I'm assuming once you fully upgrade a, a weapon or item uh, you could ascend it to the next level or some shit like that that's what I'm assuming um, but oh I remember now this third menu here is to uh, give upgrade uh, or increase the weapons uh, level limits that's basically what it is um, and then this menu I think is uh, selling your extra stuff that you don't want uh, you glance over your other menus etc etc okay um, so as far as characters go um, you have your basic equip uh, whatever you have stuff and then this is where you equip your stones here you don't you don't start off with one but you uh, accumulate a lot um, as you go through the game so don't worry about it um, these ones I'm not too sure about but I'm assuming that um, this menu here is to like increase stats I'm not too sure on that though but um, and then this one is I think increase the maximum level limit or requirements or whatnot so uh, yeah there's a, there's a lot of uh, out of battle uh, mechanics uh, in this game so it's pretty pretty interesting if you hold down the character with your finger or mouse you get to see the more information about the particular character each character once they're fully ascended or upgraded whatever you want to call it they can attack five times um, they all characters have three passes that are respective to their character which makes them unique um, so uh, it's worth it so in a way it's worth it to uh, level up all your characters in a sense uh, some characters are going to be better than others but there's probably going to be situations in which uh, a certain uh, team um, what do we call it? a certain team uh, combination will probably be most effective in future content it's what I'm assuming. All right, this fourth menu here is uh, using stones to increase your uh, box space for your stones or weapons, and then your gacha is weapon only. All characters in the game are acquired from completing story quests. So, for those of you who are worried that you have to do gacha in order to create, in order to uh, collect characters. And also do that for uh, weapons. You do not have to worry about that. You only have to worry about gotchas for weapons only. You can acquire all characters from the story quest as of right now. So do not worry about anything of that sort. All right. Uh, so it's pretty chill. Um, for the extra quests, uh, you can acquire the Valkyrie Pro Fire Lander version of uh, through this quest. Um, I thought that, uh, you know, uh, you the Len Lena Falkyrie profile version was a pre-register pre-register only, 
but you can acquire her through this quest, which is uh, a really easy one, by the way. Um, you can clear with really low uh, units, low level units, so uh, it's a pretty much a free unit. Um, anything else there? To, I think that's about it to really go over it. Well, actually, uh, so all your options is right here. Um, let's see. This is this is nails. Uh, third option I think is friends or rewards. My bad. Uh, actually, this fifth option here is for friends. Uh, a lot of menus. Too much menus. My bad. Um, uh, this is your. Uh, inbox to accept your rewards. Second one is achievements or goals, daily missions, etc. etc. That that kind of category. Uh, the fourth one is friend finding, I think. Uh, and then this one is for line slash email. And then uh, an important note: the sixth option right here. So if you make if you had made a Japanese Square Enix bridge account and you connect it. Uh, to this game or log into it, whatever you get 500 uh, gems, which is quite a lot. So I would recommend doing this uh, for sure. And then uh, this is this ID thing. This is to like transfer accounts uh, to another device. Uh, you could change name change. Um, what else is there to go over? Uh, actually, uh, your favorite. Whoever is your favorite is whatever uh, other people will use if they choose uh, your um, your profile or whatever when they start a quest. So, um, whoever has your best weapons and whatnot, please choose that character as your favorite just to help them out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, and then as far as the ceiling one here, right here. Um, this is the part of the game which people are familiar with as uh, sending the Unheriar to Asgard. Um, this is the PvP slash ranking system that they pretty much have going on. Um, and you get, of course, uh, depending on your ranking, you get certain awards. The higher you are, the better your reward is, etc. etc. Um, and I think that's about it to go over the mechanics of this game as I've discovered it so far. Um, if I find anything that's like really really important I will repost another video about it. Don't worry guys. So uh, until then I am out. Peace.